it's very expensive to build hospitals. So what we want to make sure is that critical care is provided in hospital settings and ambulatory care is something that we provide in other settings. So what we're learning from one project to the next is how we differentiate between what the hospital really needs and what care they provide versus what can be located somewhere else. St. Michael's 3.0 is the largest redevelopment project that we currently have ongoing at Unity Health Toronto. And it's been a project going on for the last, oh, I think the first, first project meeting was back in 2003. And through various design iterations, we've been under construction since 2015. And the, the goal of the project was to try to resize some of our legacy patient care areas. And by that, I mean moving patients out of pre-war buildings and creating modern ICU and acute care spaces. So previous to St. Michael's 3.0, we would have critical care patients in large ward rooms, 24 patients in a big open area. And the idea was to try to follow and try to push modern standards into St. Michael's Hospital put patients into single patient rooms, create airborne isolation space, modernize our operating rooms with better technology, hybrid imaging in the operating rooms, bigger spaces, as well as revolutionize the public spaces within the hospital. So creating better pathways for wayfinding, a new entrance to St. Michael's Hospital, and ultimately trying to connect all of our historical buildings that were built up over the last hundred years with the best and newest spaces that we built with the project. Yeah, so with the patient care tower, we, um, we basically added 250,000 square feet. We have a two-story uh, a three-story atrium uh, that provides the front entrance to the building. Um, we connected the front entrance to, um, to the existing building through a corridor and we have uh, a ten-story atrium in between the buildings, in between the existing and the new building. We designed the atrium so that the patient rooms had views into an atrium and we, we were afforded to have more patient rooms in each floor because of that. So really the circulation pattern comes from bringing the people in from Queen and Victoria, having that as a new entrance and filtering them through into the existing building. So that corridor is very important as a public corridor and separates the functions between uh, the new patient care tower and the existing building. So we're trying to sort of focus the people coming into one central area and then dispersing into the rest of the building. The pandemic offered us an opportunity to really test some of our design assumptions and we, we've been very happy to see some of the clinical results by having single patient rooms and modern standards. Uh, the patient care tower was the first project that we had designed after SARS. And so we took the lessons learned from SARS and the lessons learned as a design community through the new CSA standards for healthcare design and brought it into the tower. And so we were able to, in real time, test some of our assumptions of what what would the impact be of having dedicated airborne isolation rooms on every floor? What would the impact be of having single patient rooms? How did certain flexible design elements such as flexibility in the mechanical design allow us to quickly change the uses of space? So for example, we were able to quickly turn acute rooms that were not designed for isolation into contact and droplet isolation rooms. And the tower really offered us that sort of flexibility to use that new space. So from a post-occupancy standpoint, it gave us a great way of testing some of our theories, but also it gave us a great opportunity to learn from some of the design elements that has informed our future plans. So when COVID hit, we had uh, a mandate to deliver two floors and what we did is we rallied around the team we all sort of focused together on a single point which was really delivering these two um, these two floors to provide more supply or more capacity for the system 